Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Hello! It feels like absolutely ages since I last filmed a video for this channel. But it's nice to be back. Took a little bit of a break over November and December, as I always do. But yeah, today we've got Kieran on the camera. Come on. And uh, some of you might remember, about a year and a half ago, Myself and Kira moved into this brand new flat and we showed you guys um, a full flat tour. In fact, we actually showed you what was out of that front door. Throw away in the full park prison. So yeah, let's go on some more. Unfortunately, it's dark at the moment, so I can't show you again. What a shame. But um, today, for the first time ever, I'm gonna be showing you guys my full setup, the space in which I make videos and sleep and everything. So yeah, very exciting. I thought we'd start in the corridor today. It is very echoey, I know. It will get better once we get into my bedroom. Um, but yeah, we've obviously filmed many iconic videos in this corridor. Obviously the original flat tour, the Stranger Things video was filmed right down this corridor. And most recently the Ghost Train video was also filmed in this corridor. So yeah, lots of, uh, lots of happy memories in this corridor. But yeah, enough of that. Let's uh, first of all show you uh, Luke a gigabyte. Hey, there he is, there he is. Me and Luke are living in this kind of section of the flat. But this is my door, so we're gonna head in there. But first of all, you might notice this lovely picture. It used to be in my room, but it's since been moved out into the corridor so that everyone in the flat can appreciate it, not just me. Um, this was taken by the incredible Thrill Riders. Big up Marcus, he sent this out to us. and. Uh, yeah, obviously Luca operates this ride, so he gets to look at it every single morning. <laughs> right, let's head into the room. As you can see, it's very dark at the moment. That's because I want to show you guys my uh, new lighting package. Oh yes, oh, look at that. On. I've got so many remotes on this desk, guys. I've got to figure out which one to do next. Right, we'll get these on. Oh, oh yeah. we've got some on. And then... Uh, this switch. Oh, we get the main chandelier on. Um, but yeah, this is my room. I've never actually filmed a proper room tour, but today is the day. I'm gonna be going into detail as for literally everything in here and talking to you guys through my brand new setup, which of course you guys haven't even seen yet. That's a bit mad. Uh, a few weeks ago, in fact, this was all completed. And the last time you would have seen this room, there would have been a corner desk. I've always had a corner desk, but Kieran kind of talked me into his way of life, into getting a nice um, wide, your standard desk. And oh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. But we'll get to that in a little bit, because I guess we start off in this, this little corner of the room. This is probably the newest addition to the room. Oh yes, what a beauty that is. Uh, what do you think of that, Kieran? I do not know why anyone would choose to have that in their room. <laughs> Obviously this is a poster inspired by Flight of Passage um, over in Florida, uh, Animal Kingdom, Disney World. And yeah, it's, it's, it's an incredible poster. It's one of my favorite rides in the world. Um, and yeah, there, there's, there's gonna be a few more um, Animal Kingdom references as we continue this little tour. But yeah, next up, I've got these lovely resins, I mean, not so much of a fan of these anymore. The, I bought all of these when I was first getting into theme parks and like first starting to visit Fort Park. So these are literally all of the original ones. Mm. What? Where's where's the swarm? Where's the top of the swarm? <laughs> the swarm might have broken. There it is, there it is. Um, but yeah, little mistake here. Saw the rides actually got three rows. I tried breaking it off to make it authentic. There you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, that just shows how like original these are. They were the first resins they ever released. I just used to think they were sick, so I'd buy one every time I went to the parks. Don't buy them anymore, that's why they're just gonna sit in there. I'll probably get rid of them eventually, but yeah. And then behind that, we've got my camera set up. Very outdated, these cameras. I'm looking at upgrading both of those, but um, this is my favorite camera. The G7X, it's done me incredibly well. It's very battered now though, it's falling apart. Like this is literally part of the lens <laughs> that happened over in Poland. But yeah, I'll be, I'll be upgrading both of these within the next year, I think, but. It's got me got me through three years worth of vlogs, so big up to that. Lanyards, not a lot to mention here. This is actually quite rare. Mm. This was one of the limited edition annual passes that Fort Park put out, and the lanyard has like loads of original um, attractions. So you've got Witch Wicked Witch's Haunt, Candler Creek, Fork Farm. And I think this yellow pot badge is quite rare. I'm literally not, not one of those people 
that's into pop badge collecting, but I've heard that that yellow one in particular is quite rare, but who knows? And then obviously that's pretty cool as well, the, the premium um, pass. That was actually used for the Darren Brown video. It's <laughs> a little, little Easter egg there. Um, moving around, got the cupboard. I won't show you like every everything I own, but there's loads of clothes in there. It's quite messy, so I'm gonna close that up. Um, obviously the mirror, just checking how I look every day, wake up, say hello to myself. Something to mention that's quite cool. This is inspired by Kieran, actually. He used to have his lanyards like hung up in his room, right? Yeah. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll do the same. I've got some random ones up here. Like we've got Extreme Screen Park when we went there. We've got the Fort Park Dino event. That's quite a rare one. That's pretty cool. But my favorite lanyard um, is this bad boy right here. This is from Wireless 2019. And it's a hospitality lanyard. Massive shout out to Bobby Healy. Absolute legend. It was literally one of the best weekends of our life but yeah now nah, that's why that one's kind of kind of just sits on the front there big up to bobby healy though um moving on you might notice i've got these beautiful disney posters uh quite a few people have actually asked me where i get those from these were bought at disneyland paris itself i think that's the only place you can actually get them um but yeah there's a whole pack of like 12. i've got phantom manor we've got um the chateau de belle of bois d'omat <laughs> Sleeping Beauty's Castle and we've got Big Thunder Mountain and my favourite is Space Mountain which is right above my desk. Um, yeah, they're just sick. There's some of them up in the launch studio but I thought I'd put my favourites up in my room. Just below that is one of my prized possessions. Absolutely love this. It is a Creek Freak Massacre sign replica. The blade spins and everything. There is a motor but the wire is disconnected at the moment so I need to rewire it. This was made by a very good friend of the channel, um, Robert. He runs the Theme Park Life on YouTube. Go and check him out, absolute legend. He custom built this sign for me. It's incredible, like, oh, it's the sickest thing. And yeah, very, very happy that he did that. So yeah, big up to him. Next up, we've got a very nerdy thing. We've got a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh yes, I've recently been getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, I found this at my house. Um, as you know, this was bought by my brother and his girlfriend, but oh my God, it's just gorgeous. We got we got Blue Eyes White Dragons. Oh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Some of you are thinking what a nerd, but some of you will be appreciating this, I know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just starting to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh. It's very cool. I think I should uh, duel Kieran, because I'll, I'll definitely win. No chance. I'll definitely no win. Chance. Um, before we get on to the desk, I guess I should just mention the bed this is obviously where i sleep it's a bed there's not a lot else to say i've recently got these nice plants so shout out karen silks don't forget me those um big up mumsy absolute legend and yeah kieran disapproves of them he doesn't think i should have real plants he doesn't but, treat them well guys oh i do i water these every single okay day. these ones maybe but i've seen many casualties in the past i've got some more up on the window um they're looking nice as well Ooh. Stealth out there. Just, yeah, just check up on stealth. It's looking good. I would show you, but it's dark, unfortunately, so you won't really be able to see it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything to mention apart from the desk. And obviously this is the newest edition. Literally for the past six, seven years of my life, I've been used to sitting at a corner desk, kind of facing the corner. It's just the kind of way that I like, I used to like to work. But I have to say, I'm really liking this. Um, the whole reason for this entire new setup was this bad boy right here. It oh, is my yes. brand new PC. Up until now, I've just constantly been working on Mac. My MacBook Pro, it's done me amazingly, but it was time to upgrade. And I did so, I built, custom built this PC with a lot of help from Kieran. Um, and yeah, she, she's gorgeous. Let's, let's just power on. Oh, oh yes. Um, for those of you that are into kind of PC specs and everything, we've got a i7 processor in there with a 2070 graphics card, um, 32 gigabytes of RAM, four terabytes of HDD storage and one terabyte of SSD storage. Anything else I should mention? Some nice LEDs. Uh, yeah, five fans, one CPU, yeah, nice. um, dedicated fan. 
it's gorgeous. It's, it's a very nice PC and it's absolutely doing bits when I'm editing. Um, so let's let's log on to the old computer. I've got this Lyard keyboard. I don't normally have it on this mode. Don't don't look at my past. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, don't normally have it on this kind of colorway, but I thought for the video, we'll show you guys the rainbow setup. Um, but yeah, I've got the old Fort Park Resort, obviously. That, that is going to change. That was just kind of the first thing I immediately jumped to. Um, in terms of stuff around the desk, obviously you've probably noticed the incredible Animal Kingdom poster. <laughs> no, no, no. Very, very happy with this one. This is an original poster from the opening of the park, so it was quite hard to get but I'm very chuffed with it. It's, you can see just how early it is because there's actually um, a little dragon on the logo there. And obviously the kind of mythical area of Animal Kingdom that was planned was never actually built. So that shows just how early this poster was. And yeah, it's just sick. So that's why that's up there. A very, very strange thing on my desk is this photo here. You might ask, Jack, why have you got a photo of yourself on the desk? Well, this is a picture of me on Saw the Ride when I was about 13, I want to say, one of the first few visits to the Fort Park Resort. And that sits right there at my desk looking at me. Why? There is a reason. This was actually used in a horror maze at Fort Park Fright Nights um, called Do or Die, The Walking Dead Do or Die. It was in one of the containers where they were um, paying respects to the dead and there were names on the walls and kind of like um, teddy bears and stuff that had been left for the victims of the zombie apocalypse, I guess. And this photo was in there. So yeah, that's pretty sick. Apparently they had to sneak it out because um, one too many people were trying to take pictures of it. So the show captain of the maid, absolute legend, just kind of gave it to me one day and said, you can keep it. So yeah, big up for that. Very cool. And that's why that sits on my desk. Another thing to mention. Oh yes, look at that. Shout out Charlie Silkstone for this one. Got me this lovely Flight of Passage candle. So that sits on my desk. Haven't used it much yet. Just gonna wanna save it a little bit. I wouldn't use it either. Oh, I can't wait to use it, but it smells incredible. Liam, if you wanna send me any candles, feel free, mate. Um, but yeah, obviously got a dual monitor set up now, um, all connected down to the PC. I literally live on this PC. I can do everything that I need to, whereas before I'd edit on my Mac, then play Call of Duty on my uh, Xbox. Everything has been centralized into this. I can now charge my phone whenever I want, just by sticking it on there, and it charges. Um, if I want to talk on the microphone, literally, power that on and then I've got this. Literally, it's just made things easier for live streams, editing, everything is just gonna be streamlined in the future. Um, I'm very, very happy with this PC. Um, and yeah, I'm, I can't wait to do my first live stream from here because it's gonna be so much easier than it ever used to be. But yeah, I think that is everything to mention with the room. I can suggest some improvements. What's that? We can get rid of this. No, 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 no. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching at this little room tour. Obviously a massive thank you to Kieran who is on the camera right now. His links are down in the description. And as I said at the start of the video, apologies that it's been a while since I've been regularly uploading. But yeah, if you guys have any video ideas that you wanna see on the channel, be sure to comment them down below. I'll be reading through those and checking them out. And yeah, otherwise, thank you all very much for watching this video. My name is Jack Silkstone. Good bye. Are you gonna get past my whole team? Wait, you're against Jack in the vlog category. <laughs> hey, yo, Jack, what are you saying, my G? Nah, you don't want a war with me. Get slapped up like zero G. I am the vlog K I N G. I am the Fee Park MVP. Time to shut down PDE. Everybody knows me on an MP3. Yeah. I am the vlog K I N G. I am the Fee Park MVP.